Hello, welcome back. Okay, so let's go and click on more blocks. And if you remember, this is uh, the, our uh, sense hat extension, and this is gonna give us all kind of cool functionality into the sense hat. So what we're gonna do um, is we are going to pull this set pixel block out, and I'm gonna leave it out here for now. Now, set pixel at zero, zero, this is your X and Y axis, and this is your red, green, and blue colors right here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make all of these completely random. So that means um, this uh, is going to be random, this is going to be random, and, and all three of these are going to be completely random colors. So what we're going to do is just click up on operator, and we're going to go to pick random, uh, 1 to 10. And I am going to type in here uh, between 0 and 7, because if you recall from the previous tutorial, um, the X, Y axis is broken up into 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the X axis and same for the Y axis. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this block. All I did there was I right clicked on that and uh, duplicated it. And I'm going to slide this set pixel into there and then slide this second set, set pixel, uh, sorry, uh, set pixel um, property into there. So pick random, pick random. And I'm just going to bring it over here. And we're going to do the same thing for here for these three blocks, except we're going to set the number between 0 and 255. Um, and we talked about that a little bit in the last video as well. So uh, 0 and 255 right there. So those are the, those are the two ranges uh, for red. So I'm just going to duplicate that, duplicate that once. I'm going to duplicate that a second time, and then we're going to slide those in right there. And then I'm just going to go to the bottom of my screen here. I'm going to slide this over a bit, and I'm going to slide the second pick, pick random into there. And you can see I'm going to have to slide my screen over a tiny bit more, and my third pick random into there. Okay, now we'll be picking random, um, a random red in between these colors, a random green, and a random blue in between 0 and 255. So that's going to be a, uh, that's a lot of color combinations. Okay, so we're going to place one of these in between each one of these blocks. So I'm just going to, I'm going to be doing that, let's see here, uh, one, two, three, four, five times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate one, two, three, four, and oops, last one, five. Okay, so, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this up, put it in there, drag this one up, doesn't matter which one you grab, put it in there, drag this one up, put it in there, drag this one up, put it in here, and actually, I might have created an extra one. I don't think I need this extra one here. So, um. As well, we're also going to need to set uh, this, and I'll turn the light off for now, uh, to blank. So we want to make sure that there's no pixels on it at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to our events. Um, we're going to grab this, and rather than the space key, let's do the, uh, I don't know, A key. So when the A key is pressed, um, what we're going to do is we're going to set all pixels to clear. Try that. So set all pixels to, well, to off. Okay. And as well, I think what I'll also add on to that is stop all. I always like to add that on the end. All right, let's see what this does. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press the A key to, um, there we go, delete it. And then I'm going to press the space key. Pretty cool. All right. And the next video, um, we'll be looking at adding some more functionality.